The two Australian ring leaders of the Bali Nine drug gang are being transferred from Bali to another Indonesian island to be executed. Andrew Chan and Myron Sukumaran are expected to face a firing squad in the coming days. Australia has campaigned against the shootings going ahead. Australian PM Tony Abbott on Wednesday said he was revolted by the prospect. The pair were convicted in 2005 after being caught attempting to smuggle heroin from Bali to Australia. Indonesia has some of the toughest drug laws in the world. New President Yoko Widodo has campaigned on a zero-tolerance policy to dealers. Terrible crime. Chan and Sukumaran left Karobakan jail in Bali and are being transferred to Nasakambangan Island where the executions are due to take place. Chan's brother Michael and Sukumaran's mother Rajai, who have visited the pair regularly, were seen talking with prison guards after the convoy left. Australian media said they were refused a request to see the pair. Speaking to ABC News on Wednesday, Mr Abbott said millions of Australians were feeling sick in their stomachs at the thought of what's likely to happen to these two men. He acknowledged that they had committed a terrible crime, but added, we abhor the death penalty, which we think is beneath a country such as Indonesia. Chan and Sukumaran are being accompanied by two other members of the Bali Nine, a 45-year-old Nigerian man and a 30-year-old woman from Spain, who also face execution. Chan and Sukumaran were convicted of trying to smuggle heroin out of Indonesia in 2005, but relatives and supporters have argued that they have been rehabilitated while in jail. Lawyers for the two men said they were still attempting to mount a legal challenge but Mr. Prasidia said on Monday that any legal appeals were no longer valid following the earlier rejection of clemency by Indonesian President Yoko Widodo. Earlier in the month, all of Australia's living former prime ministers made a united plea for Indonesia to spare the lives of Chan and Sukumaran. Indonesia ended a four-year moratorium on executions in 2013.